Revelation 2451, from the 18th of August 1942. God's Protection of His Instruments Proliferation of the Divine Word The conditions for the reproduction of the Divine Word, for the spreading of it among fellow human beings, are the same as those Jesus set for His disciples when He sent them out into the world. They had to be filled by His Spirit in order to understand His Divine Word which He preached to them and thus to be able to teach like Him. They had to live a life of love so that the Spirit of God could become effective in them, they had to serve each other like brothers and always strive to fulfill the divine will. God also makes all these demands on people who now want to serve Him again and carry His divine gospel into the world. They, too, are prescribed a life of love, because without it the Spirit of God can never express itself. They must be active for each other in serving, devoted love and constantly submit to God's will. Then God takes possession of their will. He unites himself with those who want to be his instruments on earth. He gives them instructions through the inner voice and now they can carry out God's order. They can be active in teaching and have an infinitely beneficial effect on earth. Yet only few people fulfill these conditions and so little attention is paid to a task which is nevertheless extremely important and significant. Therefore it is understandable that the few people who devote themselves to God also enjoy His special protection so that they can fulfill their task on earth unhindered. They will certainly also be disturbed at times, that is they will always have to expect threats from the worldly jurisdiction and these will occasionally make them somewhat anxious, yet the working of the spirit in them will not suffer any loss and therefore their faith and confidence in divine protection will also become strong, so that they will not be influenced in the least in their thoughts and actions and calmly complete their mission they will fearlessly and unhesitatingly inform their fellow human beings of the divine will, they will help spread the word of God amongst humanity, they will not feel hindered by humanly issued commandments or prohibitions but the divine will alone will be decisive for their actions. And God will protect them, he will not let their faith go to waste, or he himself will intervene when necessary. A will turned towards God will be guided by him correctly, thus the human being can only think and carry out what God mentally instructs him to carry out and what is beneficial for the salvation of his fellow human beings. Thus it will always correspond to his divine will if his word is the first guideline for earthly life, if it is followed first, even though it is not entirely in harmony with earthly requirements. God is Lord over heaven and earth, his word is truth and therefore his word shall be followed first. And therefore God will protect anyone who submits to his authority and his will, for he needs these people for the spiritual well-being of their fellow human beings. He needs them as executors of his will, and therefore no fear and worry shall oppress people who offer themselves to God of their own free will for service for God constantly stands by them so that they will spread his word amongst people who urgently need the truth for the salvation of their souls. Amen.